and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. Today, I'm going to be going over how the market was impacted by the Color Smash promo. Now, guys, the market's done a little weird but it's not gonna stick now i'll explain all this in a while the market's still going to crash although it did rise now i'll explain to you why it rose and kind of why this always just happens around this time period but it's going to crash like the video i made the other day was referring to the fact that the market would crash after the color smash golden ticket and path of the drop but by the end of this month that's how it kind of crashed because it, it's, a, it's a progression one promo drop doesn't determine anything only because of the fact that people flock to the new promo and forget about everything else like when new promos drop, people only want to focus on the new promo cards and they forget about everything else, which leads to the other cards just sitting there, expiring off the auction block, people not buying them. So sometimes prices just rise because people aren't buying cards. Or people see that some of the other cards got cheaper and then they buy them all out real quick and the cards go up even higher because everyone bought the lower cards. It really just depends. Or even people see the new promo and like, oh, these cards weren't that great. Like, it's just Barry and Ed Reed. All right, I'm going to go buy some Ultimate Legends. And those prices go up. It really just depends, guys. Before we get into today's video, make sure you go down below. Hit that subscribe button, turn that on to my boys. Come join the family. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up as always. And I, I had two packs here, so I want to test my luck with a Cowboys pack. Maybe we can pull Emmett Smith. Doubt it. But we're going to always give it a shot. I have it sitting here. I can see no other use for it than to open this. I'm waiting for an LTD. And Emmett Smith's about the only one. So first we get a blue Tyrone Smith 95. I have pulled a ton of these top theme builder guys. Wow. That was a solid pull. 95 overall pull out of eight. Okay, I'll take that. I'll take that away. We gotta go check his price before we get into this video. That's pretty insane, quite honestly, guys. A 95 overall Tyron Smith from a team pack that I randomly chose. 299k. Okay. Yeah, guys, that might be my best pull all year. And that's that's sad. That is sad. That might be my best pull all year. No joke. I've had no good pulls all year. That's probably one of them. I also got that that guy at Milano the other day, which was super solid. I've been putting a lot of Steam Builder guys. But anyways, let's get over to the market. Let's check everything out. Ooh, I gotta relax from that. Take my easy coins. That right there, that pays for my uh, pays for my random McDaniel almost. But moving on, let's start from the top like we always do. So as you guys are gonna see from the bottom here, things have went up from the bottom. Now, the reason these things have went up a little bit, slightly, slightly, is because people just don't care right now about lower cards. But it is like Ultimate Legend Saturday, which means Ultimate Legends should start coming down pretty soon. And these cards, guys, like Ed Reed and stuff, 98 overalls at 320, 329, super cheap as it is. These should come down even more. I suspect that within like the next week or so, these should be peaking at around like 290, with dipping to around 290. Now, not, not so much the color smash plays, because these are masks. I'm talking more like the uh, Willy Lane years and the set pieces. Like me and Joe Green went up a little bit. And like I said, the reason is people just aren't caring about that stuff right now. Everyone's focused on the color, the color smash and bear, which is why these are so cheap. And the ones that people don't care about, like really lane years and stuff, they went up a little bit. Me and Joe Green's went up a little bit. We got them telling you. Once golden tickets drop, see, this promo didn't require you to spend a lot of coins. Like, it didn't require you to go ahead and take all your coins. People also are buying these. That's what you guys have to understand, too. People are buying the cheap old legends, like 315 will lane year, and they're selling them for training to then go ahead and use. Or they're, they're, take, they're buying these to go ahead and use for um, for candy, which then makes it so that they don't end up going ahead. Spending a lot of their coins on candy, which means a lot of people aren't buying these cards again, which means they're just expiring and going up in value, which is something that commonly happens. Now, guys, these are going to come down. Golden tickets come out approximately five days from now. Five days. So in five days, we're going to have some of the greatest cards in the history of Madden dropping. Now, in Blockbuster probably will be better, but in modern Madden times, going to be some of the better cards in Madden. So that's going to be crazy. So you guys have to understand that with that dropping, things don't take a big hit. So like, if, it all depends what they drop though. If they drop a quarterback, every quarterback's gonna drop. Like Mahomes gonna drop, Lamar's gonna drop. If they drop a good quarterback, like Cam Newton, or they drop a Vic, or Lamar, or an RG3, they probably will, they might not drop a quarterback week one. They should because they do have like five of them, which means they're gonna be dropping one almost every other week. But, no, they're gonna be dropping one almost every week. But the thing is, is that they might not want it the first week. But I think they might drop like a Josh Allen week one, which would suck. I'd much rather say like an RG3 week one. I do plan to pick up one of these quarterbacks, so whichever one it is, hopefully they make it fire, and I will go ahead and pick it up, but things will be coming down pretty shortly. Right now, things are inflating. This color smash is how it affects because it is a, it's a currency problem. You guys have to understand that too. When there's a currency, people care about that currency, that candy. That's what they care about right now. Candy, candy, candy. People focus on candy. That's all they care about this exact moment in time. 
Candy in the promo. Things are going up, trust me. Once things get back to relevancy, then we go ahead and drop next week Ultimate Legends. We drop golden tickets and then pats of the draft. Things should be coming down in a short order, especially some of these higher Ultimate Legends here. Like these new ones that just came out, these will not remain this high. Ted Hendricks never remains that high. Random with Gator. They should be coming down to probably close to their mark. You guys have to understand if there's not need overall legends that go for this cheap, that's kind of where they're going to be staying. That's kind of like what they're telling you is that's where 90 legends typically go for between 300 and 400k, somewhere between there. And these are going for a way above 400, but that just shows you that first off, they're either really good, which we're not cutting up the quarterback, so that makes sense. But the other ones, not so much. They should be down a lot more. And Lamar and Mahomes, they're about to take the biggest hits, guys, at some point. Lamar and Mahomes have been holding so much value because of their positions as the top quarterbacks in Madden. Trust me, once we get one of those golden ticket quarterbacks, Mahomes will get killed down to probably like 450, 500. But Lamar, well, actually, Mahomes might stop at 500 because he does quick sell for about 500. I think most people's Mahomes quick sell for 500. So, or maybe, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's 500. So he'll go down to close to like 500, the lowest probably actually. But Lamar is bound to take a hit as well because they will be dropping a new Lamar as well as a bunch of mobile quarterbacks. So that, that's Lamar's uh, like claim to fame right now. That he's the top mobile quarterback. And then obviously there's just a bunch of little LTDs here and series masters that these cards are going to retain value just because they're LTDs. You can't pull them anymore. So you got to wait for reduxes and we're not getting another series update. So will there be more reduxes? We, we, we don't know. I mean, there should be, but I don't know how they're going to do it. It could just be one random drop. And as far as Ultimate Legends, guys, like I was saying earlier, here's why Ultimate Legend packs aren't worth it. As you can see, you could pull a full Ultimate Legend right here and still lose coins in the pack. These are coming down though, guys. Like These are not bad values for Shannon Sharp, not bad values for Brian Erlacher. But guys, these are going to come down big too. These Ultimate Legends, I'm telling you, 96 Ultimate Legends will be sitting pretty and sitting consistently at probably around 145 in about two weeks. Like in about two weeks, once Golden Tickets and everything drop, everything should drop. Everything takes a pretty big drop. I'm thinking they're going to be around 145. And like I said, the thing with Golden Tickets that's a bigger issue than most, people get hyped. They start opening a ton of packs. Like people, because these are pullable things. Like Ed Reed and Barry Sanders aren't pullable. I don't think at least they're masters. So you got to pull things for them. But you're not opening packs for them. You're like, eh, I'll just buy the pieces. It makes more sense. But the issue with golden tickets are they're only pullable. So people come out of the woodworks, they haven't played in months. People with a lot of coins spend millions on packs. People are buying packs, which means with a lot of packs, you're selling everything back on the market, crashing the market. Not to mention, people are also selling cards. Like, let's say you have Chuck Benaric and Shannon Sharp and Willie Lane on your team. Golden ticket RG3 comes out, you want them, you sell all three of them, combine that total for whatever 500k, and then you put it all towards RG3. Now people are like, I just need my coins quickly, so they start selling them up fast. I'm telling you guys, it's the golden ticket effect. If the first, whenever they're gonna, whenever they drop gold golden tickets, you're gonna see this all year. Getting probably some of the best times to invest in coins just because of the massive influx of people selling and opening packs at the same time. Gonna be pretty unreal. Gonna probably be the best times to buy your team. So I'd recommend you save coins. If you can't afford golden tickets, take advantage of the golden ticket crash that should be coming with that as well. And guys, that pretty much is it for most of the top tier guys. Like the 97s, again, retaining some value because these cards are still pretty useful. A lot of them can be powered up and chemed up to 99 overalls. Not, not generic 99s, but they will be uh, chem 99s. Like guys like Warren Sapp, Walter Jones, still really, really good. In my opinion, Ray Lewis is decent. I just don't think he's that great because of his speed. I'd probably rather have Willie Lanier and just just because Will Lanier is better zone. Similar speed, similar height. Troy Palomalo is still really good. A lot of these guys should be coming down. So if you want any of these guys, expect a crash coming soon. Now, Dickerson is pretty pretty cheap now guys we don't want to pay for saquon which is a similar price anyways now but if you want if you ever want a dickerson now probably the time to get him he is a pretty affordable price at this point 271 is not bad remember you always still have your power passes as well and no power pass cannot be using gold tickets for someone who's about to ask that in the comments just so you guys do know but guys here's my plan of attack for the next few weeks gold tickets come out ne next week's golden tickets check those out if they're worth it i'm buying one if one i just want one of the quarterbacks if they're worth it i buy one if i don't think they're that great i'm going to be sitting on the market and just taking advantage of the potential crash. Like you can maybe find Calvin for like, let's say Calvin right now is 194. He's no, he's 186. Look how cheap Calvin is. You can probably find him for like 170, 161 at that point. You can probably find Warren Sapp at like 180. I'm telling you, there's so much opportunity when things like this start coming out. Because people are like, how can you care about a 96, 97 overall Ultimate Legend when there's 99 overall golden tickets in game? That don't need to be powered up. I'm telling you guys, it's going to be crazy. I'm super excited for the golden ticket drop. Hopefully, it is as fun as advertised. I hope they don't give us something stupid like Cravon LeBlanc and like Josh Allen week one. Give us a Zeke. Give us a Julio. Give us a Calvin. Give us a Lamar. Give us a Vic. There's so many. There's so many I wouldn't mind seeing. Give us an Evans. Give us so many different players. Just don't do us dirty and give us some of the two, like two really bad ones just to kick off, kick it off nice and early. We are actually getting three. I forgot to tell you guys about that. We're getting three now. So there's a good chance we get at least one decent one in there. Hopefully, you guys bought it for the video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy today's video. If you're new to the channel, go down below. Turn on the boys. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up as always. 
come join the family thank you guys so much for watching enjoy the rest of today's videos make sure to check out today's 10 30 content video as always as well ultimate legends this morning like i said i like some of them didn't like some others but all depends on preference with these guys so that's about it thank you so much for watching i'm out peace